Hi everybody, welcome to the channel and welcome to a paint review. We're looking at the Golden High Flow Acrylics for your airbrush. Now I'm going to recommend this paint to you because it works. I've been using this paint for 15 to 16 years consistently and still use it to date on my artwork. So if you look across the channel, all these different things that I've painted, whether it be e-bikes, automotive stuff, portraits, they're all on the channel guys and you'll see it's all golden high flow consistently. So right, a little bit about the paint. You can buy this paint in kits. Now you can buy it in an opaque kit and you can buy it in a transparent kit. The kits come in little bottles like this. These are 30 mil bottles. So that's the sort of size you'll be getting in your kits. You get your colors, your blacks, your white, your green, and things like that. You can get these in transparent as well. Now, if you don't know what transparent paint is and opaque paint, just think of transparent as looking out of a church glass window and you can see through and you can see all them bright colors in a transparent church window. That's basically what transparent paint does. It goes down a lot thinner and lighter and you can see through it. So it's really handy to use that sort of stuff if you want to tint things down in portraits, go over and just knock shades back, you can use transparent. Opaque, just think of opaque as one pass to two passes and you've got full coverage, 100% coverage, full color in a couple of passes. It's a denser pigment, it's thicker, and it just covers a lot quicker. So that's what opaque does. Thinning this paint. Now, other brands you'll be using their reducers and you've got to fiddle around buying reducers. This stuff, just to count some water out your tap, job done. Nice and easy, I'll just get a bottle like that, fill it with tap water or distilled water. Distilled water's a little bit better and then you're good to go. Now to thin it, it's simple. You unscrew your lid like that, do one drop of golden to one drop of water, and that would be thinned enough. That's how I thin it if I'm going down for detailed stuff. If I'm going really close up and I'm knocking that air pressure down, that's how I thin it. Normal running at 25 PSI, this stuff is straight out of the bottle and you're good to go. But if you're going really close and detailed, thin your paint down, drop your air pressure down. So that's how you thin it, dead easy. You can get all the colors in the Golden Range. You get your set kits and then you can buy all the individual ones in bottles that big. So you can buy the individual transparent and opaque. You can also buy the bigger bottles, which are the 118 mil. Now I would recommend you buying some of the bigger bottles and I'll tell you the colors that I recommend you to buy. I would go for a carbon black in the big bottle, a titanium white in the bigger bottle, and when it comes to transparent, stock up on your shading grey in the big bottle, because shading grey is a godsend, it really is, you can use that. I tend to use shading grey loads, guys, in my pictures, because you can just dust over with a transparent shading grey, and you can knock them colours back. You can add it to your opaque colors and just tone them back that way. So they're the three big bottles that I recommend. You can also buy in the Golden Range, which is this one, and this is the high flow medium. Now this will make it flow even better and it will turn your opaques down to a transparent. So you can buy that one and go that route if you wanted to go that route. So that's basically it about the paint. The color ranges in these is like, incredible they do all the colors you can get the really fancy ones as well we've got an riders and copper now i use this one on the channel recently on some e-bike wheels and when this stuff is clear coated and you take it out in the sunlight it is just incredible guys so that's a really nice couple of these the copper you can get the fluorescent colors i've got a blue one here which is a blue fluorescent they do a whole range guys nip over to the website I'll leave a link in the description. So you just click on this link and it'll put you straight across to the golden and you will see the colors and the kits. I'll hook the airbrush up now and you'll just see a little demo on this paint. Now I'm using the Iwata Custom Micron. 
which is a small needle setup. I think we're running about 20 PSI on the main line. Little bit of the green, I think this, yeah, this is transparent. And this is straight out the bottle, guys, and it flows as it says on the label, it's high flow and it works. You chuck it in your brush, you're good to go. You've got no faffing around like some of these cheap brand acrylics where you put it in your brush and you just see it run down into the cup and you think, hmm, I think I need some reducer. With this, you go, I'll just put a little drop of water in that. Job done, bubble it back and you'll thin your paint. It's simple and that's how you want things. You want it simple. You don't want this side of things with your paints to be complicated. You have enough complications painting your pieces of artwork. If this bit's nice and easy, you chuck it in your brush and you're good to go. You're not gonna worry about going up to your piece of artwork, pulling back that trigger and the paint spitting. With this, you just go up to your artwork and you know you can go down on them details and this paint is going to flow out of your very small tipped airbrush. So that is my review guys on the Golden. Highly recommend it. I've used it throughout my career and continue to use it. I've dropped that link in the description. Go over there, over to the website, have a look. They do some really cool stuff on the website as well. Not just Golden paint, they do a variety guys. So thanks for watching. Don't forget if you're new to the channel, Click that subscribe, press that notification, and I will see you in the next one.